Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos talking all about shadow work, emotional regulation, spirituality, and so, so much more. And something I want to talk about is being of service because this is something I'm really having to get clear on for my own brand and business and music and jewelry and everything like that. And I'm really starting to understand about how being of service does not mean self-sacrifice and it also means to actually take care of yourself and to be authentic like that is being of service rather than just trying to cater to everybody else rather than trying to mold yourself into what other people want you to be and like creating a personality persona or a brand or whatever it is like rather than creating those things into what other people expect or into what you think other people want to see and actually really getting clear on who you are what your authenticity is owning who you are but also taking care of yourself you know because being of service can mean giving a lot of yourself to people it can mean especially if you're building a business whether that's online or in person like especially if you're building something like that and you have to communicate and talk to people it can lead to a lot of exhaustion and like become quite draining if you're having to put on a smile you know and be perfect and create some kind of like personality or something to cater to other people that can be so soul sucking and I'm realizing that I have to be authentic and I have to take care of myself before creating content or before coming up with ideas before talking to other people like really taking care of yourself doing your energy work and your shadow work and stuff is so so important to be able to do this to be able to film these videos but even just to be able to socialize and interact with people you know even with family and stuff like if you do that too often it can start to drain you if you're like constantly talking to people all day every day and stuff so really just having to take care of yourself that is a part of being of service you know like self-care and rest and recharging is a part of being you it's a part of being human and it's also a part of being of service and of your purpose and your soul mission and whatever your creative hobbies are and passions and stuff it doesn't have to be something that you make money from like whatever it is that you're passionate about you still need to be able to take care of yourself in order to do those creative things you know and just prioritizing self-care and really making sure that you look after yourself yeah. Yeah, do you agree, Za? <laughs> I'm not sure if she agrees or not. Throwing your arms around. But just really prioritising self-care. Even to be able to be a parent, there's only so much that you can give to somebody else if you're not taking care of yourself, you know? Like, to the point where you could just stop eating or stop showering or, like, just simple, basic things. But if you start doing that for a long period of time, you will burn yourself out and you will feel miserable, you know? It's why I make a conscious effort to get myself dressed every day. Just something so small has such a huge impact on my mood and my mindset, you know? Like, and I make sure to get a Zari dress too. Like, we're not in our pyjamas all day every day although we can have a pajama day if we feel like it or I say we but obviously like she can't talk to me or nothing but like if I'm in a mood for having a chill pajama day then I will allow myself to do that but for the most part for myself I know it's important for me to get dressed because that really impacts my mood and I just think like paying attention to what it is that you need for your own self-care and your own mood and stuff especially when doing some kind of like entrepreneurial thing is so so important but even just in general being able to take care of yourself is essential and that is a part of being of service like you don't have to do anything you don't have to become like a superstar or something in order to impact the collective and be of service just simply being you you know and like resting recharging creating communicating 
bless you being aware of your own beliefs and even raising the future generation like all of these things impact the collective it doesn't have to be something that we deem as huge it can be anything from the smallest things to even things that other people might think are small but are actually really impactful you know like just being yourself living your life that is enough that is more than enough and you have such a huge impact on the collective simply by existing you know because you are a part of source we're all a part of consciousness or whatever it is that you want to call it energy you know information we're all a part of it and we're all interconnected and just simply being yourself making sure that you take care of yourself raising the future generation in the best way possible so that they're empowered and kind and heart-centered you know and working on your own heart-centered state of being and your own vibration and like experiencing joy you know just all of these things are so important and all of it has such a huge huge impact on the collective it's like taking care of yourself raising your own vibration tuning in on what your vibrational state is at like right now you know being aware of where you're at right now and cultivating your own home frequency raising that to where you want it to be all of that stuff is so so important because that ultimately impacts everybody else in existence, you know? Like you have such a huge impact just by being you and resting and recharging is so essential alongside that. And I'm just really starting to understand this for myself because it's not easy. Now the doorbell, like first my child, now the doorbell. Just fit in everything in wherever you can without forcing yourself to be perfect and being authentic and just doing what brings you joy, you know, like raising your own vibration is the most important thing. That's what I'm also realizing and our spiritual practices help us with that, you know, like that's what they're there for. They help you to raise your own vibration and it doesn't have to be something that you deem as hugely spiritual, you know, it could be anything. It could be dancing. That's something I love to do. Yeah. Come here, my princess. Just loving yourself, taking care of yourself, raising your own vibration, allowing yourself to rest, doing your inner shadow work. All of these things are just so essential and they have huge, huge impact. So yeah, just give yourself some grace along this journey because it's not the easiest. <laughs> but yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for watching definitely check out the description box below for links to everything about me okay baby okay okay we're done we're done the description box below and i will see you in the next video say bye there okay <laughs>